All right, everyone, that opening message should be etched in your mind as we talk about this coin that sold during the uh, Heritage Long Beach auction uh, a little over a week ago. Uh, so yeah, check your proof sets. You might be able to find one of these gems. It's a, uh, it's not just any other 1968 uh, Roosevelt dime. It's the no S variety dime that can be found in the proof sets of that year. Okay, so what makes it so special? Call it a, a mint removal of the mint mark, intentional or not. It's, uh, it's what, one of the most famous modern coins um, in U.S. history, okay, some would argue it's a top 100. A lot of uh, professional uh, hobbyists, coin people, say it's a top five coin. It really doesn't matter. If you could find a coin in a $4 proof set with no S on it and then be able to flip it, uh, in like in this instance, into a $22,000 profit, then I think you've done pretty, pretty good in, in this case. So this example right here graded out at um, PCGS Proof 68, which is a nice lofty grade. Uh, there was no cameo or anything like that. It was just a regular proof dime um, with not a whole lot of issues. Uh, it's got some toning spots. Primarily, it's it was in the little uh, um, plastic uh, film thing that these get stored in but um yeah this uh 1968 no s dime is uh yeah uh, famous it's famous to a lot of modern collectors uh so as you can see this is the obverse or the front face of the coin uh in the slab and uh here is the reverse of the coin you know, it's just you know, like your typical dime uh, no no one could ever guess that a dime like this could be worth uh, enough money to uh, you know purchase a new car you know it's it's crazy to even fathom um, how much some of these modern coins can be worth but um, yeah this is a tremendous example okay it's yeah there's the reverse uh, here's a picture of the coin in its respective slab so you see the PCGS um, is uh, prominently displayed on there um, front of the coin the no s moniker is on the label um yeah a killer coin to say the least would i personally go out of my way to buy the coin for what it's worth probably not it's just not my my series but it's a great flip coin if you're able to find one and uh you know it's the type of money that you could get from such a thing that that could go a long way to uh to financing you know your uh your collection if you're looking to get into more of the uh, the older stuff you know and you know how old the the classic coins are then uh this is definitely one of those um, avenues that you could go here all right so one more photo this is the reverse of the coin in the slab take a minute to soak that in of course uh, the video will be uh, over in a minute uh but yeah four dollar proof set maybe your aunts uncles grandparents have a number of these stashed away in a safe deposit box or you know somewhere and uh you never know there's probably one with a with no uh mint mark on there that could be um worth a lot of money uh so a, a couple other famous dates uh with no mint marks or missing mint marks is the like the 1975 um no s proof dime uh i think another one is 1982 but i think that's more of a uh, a business strike coin you know uh, the philadelphia version won't have a p on there so uh a couple others but they're not they're not worth tens of thousands of dollars like this crazy monster here um so yeah definitely check the proof sets uh uh, keep an eye out on them because uh, even, these are even for sale at garage sales and stuff and uh, you just never know. I know a couple people have um, cherry picked a 1990S Link, no S Lincoln proof uh, coin out of a uh, proof set on eBay a few times. So that's that's another uh, big, big one in terms of the no S coins 
for the modern issues. So uh, I appreciate you guys uh, watching another great Heritage Long Beach uh, sale. Uh, more to come. I think I might even do another one right after this. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great one.